we know now that almost 50% of infertility is owing to a male factor. We know that a lot of men have low sperm counts, poor sperm motility and too many abnormal sperms as the cause of their infertility. And it was almost 18 to 20 years ago that we had a big revolution in the field of male factor infertility with the advent of this piece of equipment you see here which is known as the micro manipulator. And it is with this that it is now possible to perform what is called ICSI that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection wherein we just take a single egg from the wife, we take a single sperm from the husband, we load it into a micro needle on this piece of equipment, pierce the shell of the egg and inject the sperm directly into the egg. So we no longer need millions and lakhs and crores of sperms to achieve a pregnancy. With this technique, even if a man's sperm count is very low or even if he doesn't produce any sperm at all, but if we are able to retrieve sperm from his testes with a biopsy, we can still use that sperm and make and help him make his own biological child without the need for a donor sperm. So ICSI has more or less revolutionized every form of male factor infertility. We are able to use sperm which is weak, which is poor in motility, which is ejaculated in semen. We can also retrieve sperm from the urinary bladder. We have patients who are unfortunate and have retrograde ejaculation. That means semen goes into the urinary bladder instead of coming out at the time of an orgasm. We also have electro ejaculation which can help paraplegic men who otherwise would not be able to father a child where under anesthesia we use a probe of a machine known as an electro ejaculator and help them to produce a semen sample. And of course we have patients of zero sperm count where we can take sperm directly from the testicles and inject this sperm which is obtained in very few numbers into the eggs with this ICSI unit and still achieve a biological child of their own without the need for a sperm bank.